In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up a total station for machine control. The first step is to connect a CS900 with my total station. I'll do this by going to Home, Total Station, Connect. For a model, I will select SBS series. I will connect to my total station using radio. The radio channel for my total station is channel 6, and the network ID is 13. All right, so here's a screen showing that my instrument is level, which is good. Also, here is atmospheric corrections that is being read from the instrument for temperature and pressure. For my total station, I want to do an arbitrary location setup. When setting up my total station at an arbitrary location, I will have to measure at least two ground control points to establish the position of my total station. I will select control one in the plan view and set up a prism right on top of control one. Once I hit select, I have to enter the information of my prism. So I'll enter a target height of 2 meters and state that I'm using a multi-track prism in active mode with a target ID of 5 and now I'll hit measure. Looks like my instrument is not locked to my prism, so I'll initiate a target search. Now the instrument is searching for target ID 5. All right, looks like the total station found my target. And now I'll hit measure to measure the control point. And there's my measured control point. So now I am walking over to my second control point called control two, which is selected in the plan view. Once I reach control two in the field, I will set up my prism on the point and make sure that my prism is leveled. All right, now I hit select. Since I'm set up on my prism, I can go ahead and hit measure. With my second control point, I now have results. What I would like to do now is measure a third control point, control four, to have an independent control. With two control points measured, the total station position is established. This allows SES 900 to direct me where to go when I select control point four in the plan view. As you can see, it's on the top. And I'm just walking over to my control point, and I'm giving directions, reference to the total station on how to get to that point. All right, so I am now on my point. I level my prism on top of the point. Now I'll hit select and then hit measure. So here are my results from three control points. One of our control points is very close to our instrument setup, which results in a high angle deviation. The horizontal and vertical error is still okay, so we can just raise the angle tolerance to accommodate for the one control point that is close to our instrument. So I've changed the angle tolerance to 30 minutes. Looks like changing the angle tolerance made our station set up within tolerance. Once again, our horizontal and vertical errors are looking really good. So I'll just go ahead and hit accept. And that completes my station setup. Alright, so now I will start the machine control setup. And to start, I'll go to Home, Total Station, Machine Control Setup. Now, SES 900 is asking me to define a search window, so if the Total Station loses the machine prism, it will search through the search window. Alright, so right now I'm measuring the upper left corner with my Total Station and the lower right corner of the machine to define my search window. In the next window, I will define my machine list. 
the Trimble Universal Total Stations are capable of connecting to multiple machines. Here I'm selecting Network ID 77 and I should have three machines set up on that network. The first machine I'm going to connect to is a grader, so I will name it Grader 1. The radio channel that this grader should be on is 40. Alright, and there it is. I have another machine that I can add here by clicking Add. I have another grader in the field I need to connect to, so I'll name this one Grader 2. If I try to select the same radio channel of my last grader, SES 900 will prompt saying that the channel is already being used and provides another radio channel that is available. So for my second machine, I will select channel 50 instead. And hit OK. Alright, the last machine I need to connect to is a dozer. So I will name it dozer1. And connect to channel 60. And there are my machines. And that concludes how to do a machine control setup using a total station.